Hello everyone, my name is Fahim Khan and this is my All About Me project, Life Management Second Period. Now, before this presentation starts, I would like to note that this presentation in form of a video is to me both the assignment for my class as well as a good opportunity and a fun video for my YouTube channel for people to know more about me. As this is an All About Me presentation, so, without further ado, let's get into this presentation. Starting off, we have the story of my birth. Now, the three subtopics that I chose for this is an important event that year, my mom's story, and the meaning of my name. As for the important event, I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, but the important event that year was obviously my birth. Uh, 2008 was when I was born, or the year that I was born, and it was an important event to my family, uh, my parents, specifically, uh, specifically saying, and my relatives, as I was their firstborn. Or, yeah, I was their first child. <laughs> um, my mother's story... According to my mom, I was born 10 days past my due date. My mom was hospitalized 8 in the morning, but I was born 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and my mom's favorite moment after I was born was that once the nurse has cleaned me up and gave me to my mom for about several hours, I was constantly staring at my mom and I wasn't looking anywhere else without being sleepy or hungry or anything else. I was just there staring at my mom. And that was apparently my mom's favorite moment from the time when I was born. The meaning of my name is... So I have three names, right? My first, middle, and last name. Fahim Abrar Khan. My first name, Fahim, right? It has multiple meanings. The, the first meaning is intelligent. It also means perspective, understanding, and keen. My middle name, Abrar, it means a pious or God-fearing person. I am also kind, or it says my name suggests that I am kind and righteous, which I believe is true. And as for my last name, we have Khan, a title given to rulers and officials in Central Asia, Afghanistan, and other certain Muslim countries. Moving on, we have the an ancestor circle. So this is an entire ancestor tree that I have. I couldn't go too far deep into it. However, I can tell you that it's a pretty interesting family tree, especially my last name. I mean, I think that's something that I noticed. However, you can see the family tree over on the left side of the presentation. We have my mom, Sharman Ferdosi. And then her parents, which I do not know how to pronounce because I don't have that Bengali tongue fully developed. Some of you probably know what, what I mean by that. So we have my, my mom's parents, and we have my grandparents' parents, so my great-grandparents. And then over on the right side, we have my dad, Muhammad Farhad Khan. And his parents, we have my grandparents' parents, which is my great-grandparents. Pretty cool, because Khan, 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 and yes, it's literally the same thing as Khan, except a title given to females. It's the female version of Khan. That's, that's, that's literally the gist of it. Khan, 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 and Khan. So I feel like that's pretty interesting. Moving on, we have my national and ethnic background. My parents both came from Bangladesh. However, my mom's father was born in India, but my mom's mother was born in Bangladesh. As well as my great-grandparents from my mother's side, they migrated from Iran to Afghanistan, then from there to India, and then they finally settled in Bangladesh. However, for my grandparents, 
from my father's side, they were both born in India. And then my great grandparents from my father's side, they came from Afghanistan, and they finally, they finally settled in Bangladesh. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice here. But two ways that this has affected my heritage. Number one is when I'm here in America, I'm representing my Bangladeshi culture. And whenever I go to Bangladesh, I'm representing my American culture. So the best of both worlds. And another thing is that people always assume that I'm Indian, which is not exactly true because I'm Bangladeshi. However, I'm not going to blame them for them thinking that because us Daisies, I mean, we're pretty much the same except for some minor differences. Moving on, we have an animal. So according to a test that I have done for this specific question, I identify with a dolphin because just like them, I am known for my optimism and my playful nature as well as being highly intelligent. I am also a great reminder to people that they should enjoy the little things in life because, you know, honestly, you should probably respect that. Small things in life, just notice it. And this is, um, and I'm also kind of hearted and my friends love that about me. Now, this is according to a test. However, I'm pretty sure that this test is beyond accurate because I agree with every single thing that this test has stated. A fun bonus, and I'm not too sure about dolphins because dolphins never really had the option to walk on land like us humans have. So I'm assuming that dolphins love to swim. However, that's just a statement that I'm saying because I love to swim. Moving on, the things that I enjoy. I love cars. I love everything about cars. I know everything, or at least I know a lot of thing about a lot of things about cars, and I enjoy cars, both in video games and in real life. I also enjoy editing videos, which is the reason why you're seeing this presentation in the form of a video. It's because I like editing. I also enjoy playing video games like any other person would. I also love getting my daily dose of motivation. I like being motivated and my mom is a great motivator. Another thing that, that could relate to motivation, I enjoy music, preferably rap. Some of the rappers that I like are people like XXXTentacion, Juice World, Polo G, King Von, NLE, YNW, you get the point, you get the gist. I like all these rappers because I think they're really talented in what they do. And, um, yeah, I, I, I like their creations of art. So, moving on, strengths and weaknesses. In my strengths category, I am a decent video editor. And I say decent with emphasis because I'm not the best and I'm not really great. I just know how to do it. And the fact that I enjoy doing it because... It seemed like a really good hobby. That's why I put that in the, uh, in the strengths category. I am also a pretty fast runner. Good at cross country as well. I'm a decent fast runner and I'm very strong physically. So pretty good. And yes, this next part, you are reading it correctly. I am autistic, meaning I do have autism. And you're gonna see later in the slide, me describing it more. I consider this as a strength, however. I consider it as a strength because not a lot of people have what I have. And there's some people that says that it's not really of a strength. I mean, come on. Of course, being autistic to me is a strength because like I said, not a lot of people have it. And I just want to be grateful for what I have because God created me this way. So. Of course, I'm going to consider this as a strength. Moving on, good at driving in real life. I am not going to get into this. However, just note that I am good at driving. Another thing, another strength is a loving family. I love my parents. I love my grandparents. I love my siblings. I love my relatives. I love my cousins. You get the point. I love my family because they're all super kind. I... It's just wonderful. Now onto the weakness. Um, some weaknesses that I have. Um, I procrastinate a lot. Now, 
I think this is a problem for everyone, or at least a lot of people have this problem, so it's not only me. So it's good to know that I'm not the only person out there just suffering with this kind of thing. Procrastination, and then there's losing confidence, which is kind of rare nowadays, but it happens here and then. It happens to everyone. Some people lose confidence. It's a thing. And then there's also being nervous. I get nervous a lot. It, it took me some courage to um, make this video correct, and I probably made way too many edits in this video. Probably overkill. I'm not too sure. I, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. You get the you get the point. I get nervous a lot. You know. There's also bad time management. Which kind of relates to procrastination. I'm tackling that thing though. Um, and I'm being better at time management. However, that's still a weakness that I still have. That I'm currently fixing. Another thing is that whenever I talk, the wrong words always come out of my mouth. What I mean is whenever I uh, say something, people always take it, or most of the time, or a lot of times, people always take what I say sometimes the wrong way, right? Whenever I say something, people might take it the wrong way. And I might not mean something bad. However, that's what some people might think of it as, of what I said. and. As soon as I realize what I've said could probably mean something that's bad or potentially bad, the damage has already been done. And um, it sucks sometimes because I have to deal with the dang consequences. However, solving it though, but that's a weakness of mine. Another weakness. You get the point of what I'm trying to say? Moving on, we have my main values. Um, the five main values I have are I'm confident, I'm cheerful, I am intelligent, I am kind, and I'm pious or I'm God-fearing. Pretty straightforward. Moving on. An, a, a success of achievement. I really like this achievement. It's kind of... I don't know what you guys might think of it as, but I thought it was a pretty good achievement of mine. So... I managed to make a YouTube Shorts video that broke over 10,000 views. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, Fahim, it's 10,000 views. It's not that much. To me, 10,000 people watching this video, or at least 10,000 views, or some... Okay, it was really 14, 000, around 14,000 views. However, I mean, the emphasis that I'm trying to make here is that it's a lot of views. I, I really like that. And to me, that was an achievement that made me proud. Moving on, we have an important event in my life. And I know some of you, some of my viewers that, that are probably, probably watching this video, probably uh, you might remember this event. But it's that time where my cousin was getting married. And she and my mom asked me to make a video about the event. And it was really for like the memories and stuff. Long story short, I had to edit the longest video I ever had to make in my life so far and it was thanks to god that i was able to make such a video it was pretty cool not gonna lie but it took a lot of editing and so i managed to make an hour long video with ton of editing around eight nine hours i don't know to edit in total and this editing project and the marriage was around the summer and so i got a couple things out of it number one a happy memory you know, that, that's the, the important, the main thing, uh, the main thing about this video, happy memory. Another thing is me flexing on my editing prowess, because um, it was a lot for me at the time, but I mean, I, I liked it, really good exercise for me. Another thing is money as a reward for this accomplishment. I mean, why hire an editor when you have a editor, when you have an editor of yourself? And so, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good bonus. But the main thing, and this was my favorite part, was the fact that I got tons of recognition from my family members, from my relatives, that I made such a cool video in the first place because. It's just that recognition that I got that I really loved. And so there was that. Moving on, we have 
the you tell me slide. So I'm about to tell you some things that I would like you to know about me. First one up on the list is that I'm a 14 year old boy whose birthday is June 1st. June 1st, 2008. 14 years old. You get the point. Moving on, I have ADHD and high functioning autism. And fun fact is that I was known as the weird kid back at school, especially in um, elementary school. And I was kind of disliked. However, that never really bothered me that much. My religion is Islam. And so I'm Muslim. Now the thing is that I'm in Boy Scouts of America. I'm a Naruto fanatic. However, I don't watch that much anime, which is, it's kind of weird. I like, I, I really love Naruto, but I don't watch that much anime. Uh, another thing is that my favorite car is an R34 Skyline GTR. And relating about this topic about my favorite car, last year, eighth grade, there was an English assignment, uh, there was an English assignment to make a poem. I forgot what exactly the poem was about, However, I knew it was about something that you had to write relating to Kobe Bryant or something like that in memory of his basketball thing. I forgot. So long story short, we had to make a poem about something that we love. And I decided to make a poem about my favorite car, R34 Skyline GTR. And to be honest, I think, I think it was a pretty good, pretty good poem, not gonna lie. So anyways, that concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching this video and presentation. I hope you learned some things about me. So uh, for the viewers, please like and subscribe. And um, for the people watching this uh, presentation because of the assignment, I hope you guys like this, uh, this assignment. I hope you guys learned more about me. Um, and so I think that should conclude it. See you guys later.